the lamp behind you. <laughs> so now you're highlighting how big my ears are. Yeah. <laughs> this is not good. <laughs> Cut.
So this is the old TV room. We've showed you this before on the channel. The beams up there were in a very bad shape. And um, a carpenter uh, is coming to fix the first meters of, um, of this beam, replacing them completely. Um, but that's not the whole story. It's fairly obvious that this beam here has also been very damaged. There it is. There it is. There it is. That doesn't look good now, does it? It's completely broken up there. And somewhere in the past, they have tried to fix it by this construction here. This wooden beam supported by these wooden beams. However, they um, weakened this beam in the middle. So this is where they um, made room in the supporting beam, which was a big, big mistake. And that's the reason why the whole thing was, has been sagging for decades. There have been efforts to make sure that um, the floor above us, also, so what for us is the ceiling, this looks to be almost perfectly straight. And what we can see is wooden planks and other stuff has been inserted above the beam to make sure that this part is straight. So that's new information for us. In fact, this floor above looks to be in remarkably good condition. One of these things... Oh, what's, what's the English word? A step, a trap, it's a ladder? No. I have no idea what the word is. Okay. We can see some details that were invisible to us before. Like here. Uh, is probably the beam where the, the wall on top is built on. So the wall of the, the rest of the house. Um, that was invisible to us until now. Uh, the thing is, this was the bad part of the beam. But the part above looks to be in much better condition. Okay. What more can I show you here? Okay. Uh, how, did they, how did they construct these things? When, when you look at this beam, um, it has a, a channel carved into it. Um, uh, let's say at a third of its height. So that's, let me... Okay, so this is about a third, yeah. Um, this is used to um, force boards uh, into it. Man, my English is so bad today. It's, I can't remember any words. I hope um, you'll forgive me. But uh, anyway, this channel is used so that boards have something as a support. And on top of th those boards, um, the whole area, the whole room that they created was filled with clay and straw, as they did in those times. Um, this helped preserve the wood. Um, clay is very good at that. And also, because it's quite massive, uh, it greatly, greatly reduces noise um, coming from above. So if you're living downstairs, you hardly hear the, the people walking around upstairs. And we tested that and it makes a huge, huge difference. That's something to have in mind when we decide um, 
what to do ourselves. Okay, so this is one of the good beams. However, near the end here, it starts to become worse. And furthermore, rotten wood can be seen in the beam that is supporting the wall above. So that's not good. Um, they even inserted some bricks in there for extra support. Probably we'll need to investigate uh, how bad it is uh, back there. But that's not um, this phase of, of repairs. That's something we can reach from outside when the time is there. Um, yeah. So, last part, um, you can see that same beam where the wall stands on here, but this is also completely new to us. There is actually a beam at the side of the house. Initially, we were convinced that um, the floor was supported by the stone wall on this side but it isn't there is also a wooden beam behind nay, on on the stone wall however they um, they used stone to cover it up for some reason maybe just simply uh, to uh, to prepare the wall for plastering uh, to be honest i have no other idea what why they would have done this so there's an extra beam and it looks in pretty good condition. That's good news. Okay, a final uh, pan to show you what we are about to replace. This thing here has lived a full life and gets to retire. Okay, I'm now in the doorpost outside of the kitchen, looking into the TV room. There used to be a wall here. And as you can see, I've almost finished tearing it down. We were not sure how much support this wall was bringing to the table. This beam here was right underneath it. And that's why we have made some supports to make sure this beam doesn't come crashing down. For some reason I'm always filming with uh, what we call walk and talk when there's a lot of traffic. And that's not often. It's mostly two times a day in the morning when people go to work and in the afternoon when they return. And for some reason, every time I am filming and talking, there is a lot of traffic and it annoys me like no other thing. So, ah, silence. The carpenters, um, they took this beam, which was here in these slots, and if you remember, it was too low for modern humans to use as a doorpost. This is, this is head level, so that's re really too low. Um, and it's, uh, it's, been, um, it's been raised by um, over 20 centimeters. So that should be good for a couple of generations of humans, I would guess. And all in all, we're still very happy with how this thing looks. It's, it's a piece of art in our future living room. Um, however, it's not all honey and milk because on this side, there has been some damage. But um, for, as far as we can see at this point, the damage is very superficial. And um, 
um, we will just make it nice again. There's no need to re reinforce any of this. We'll just make sure that, um, that those bits are removed and that it looks nice. Stay tuned for that.